as mayor of Thierville, it's my proud privilege to introduce to you Dr. Prevention. The floor is yours, ma'am. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Prevention. I assume all of you have heard of AIDS, but probably very few of you have had a chance to keep up with all the facts. The first point I want you to know is that you don't have to worry about getting AIDS through casual contact. You don't have to worry about getting AIDS through food or being sneezed or coughed upon. AIDS is not like the flu or common cold. So don't worry about getting AIDS from toilet seats, doorknobs, or shaking hands with someone who has AIDS. Even hugging someone who has AIDS is safe. All right, doctor. Tell me what these letters A-I-D-S stand for. Acquired means to get or obtain by one's efforts or actions. It is not a natural part of the body. Immuno refers to the body's defense against disease. Deficiency means lack of or not working right. Syndrome is a group of signs or symptoms that occur together. AIDS is caused by a virus that damages the body's ability to fight infection. It's difficult to get infected with the virus unless you place yourself in one of two high-risk situations. The intimate sharing of body fluids during sex or sharing needles and syringes. No matter what your age is, if you're male or female, if the color of your skin is black, brown, yellow, white, or red, no matter who you are, if you are having sex with someone and not using a condom, <laughs> or shooting drugs with a shared needle and syringe, you may be placing yourself at high risk for AIDS. It is not who you are. It is what you do that will give you AIDS. Oh no, this was a big mistake. <laughs> we all know that only gays get AIDS. You act as if it's our problem. Well, it's not. So just go back to where you came from. Go scare someone else with all this acquired immuno mumbo jumbo. Not us. Hey, the fact is, AIDS is spreading. It is not just a gay person's disease. It is everyone's problem. On a worldwide scale, between heterosexuals and homosexuals, there are more heterosexuals with the disease. So take notice. Unless you are aware of how the virus is transmitted and take appropriate steps to avoid infection, AIDS could one day kill you. But if we're all careful, together we can stop the spread of AIDS. Education is our greatest weapon against AIDS. That's why I'm here today. Questions? Okay, Dr. Prevention. Just how come AIDS doesn't spread through casual contact? The AIDS virus doesn't survive well outside of the human body. No one has gotten AIDS from eating food or being sneezed or coughed upon. Things like swimming pools, hot tubs, and toilet seats are safe. Shaking hands, touching, and as I said earlier, even hugging someone with AIDS is safe. You see, the virus has to enter into the body to do its damage. Like other sexually transmitted diseases, it needs blood or body fluids to transport it from one person to another. AIDS does not float around in the air like the common cold, and that is why it doesn't spread casually. Oh, I better not regret this. Hmm? Yes, you in the back row? Blood transfusions. Just what is the real story about them? Are they safe? All blood is tested before it is used. The risk of getting AIDS from a transfusion is very, very small. Unfortunately, an unknown number of people may have received contaminated blood before this test was available and may still come down with AIDS. What about donating blood? Come on, is it safe? Yeah, that would get her. <laughs> Absolutely. Many people are afraid to give blood for fear of AIDS. Giving blood is safe and has always been safe. Everything is sterilized and used only once and then thrown away. Blood is in great demand. If you have not engaged in high-risk behavior, please give blood. Giving blood can help save lives. Okay, okay. Since you can't get the AIDS virus that way, how do you get it, doctor? Oh, that ought to be good. Yeah, do the hokey pokey. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk about sex. 
This always upsets some people. But I want you to know that I'm only interested in stopping the spread of AIDS, not changing the morality of the world. What I say is a medical point of view. You decide what is right or wrong. There are three basic ways of contracting the AIDS virus. One, sexual contact. Two, infected blood entering the body. Three, infected mother transmitting the virus to her baby. First, sexual contact is a major way AIDS is spreading. It is primarily a sexually transmitted disease like herpes, syphilis, and gonorrhea. I don't like to be the one who has to tell you this, but there is only one sure way to avoid sexual transmission of the AIDS virus. Avoid having sex. Some people believe sex is something they can't control, or that since everyone is having sex, they have no choice. This is not true. Many times in my life, I have had to say no to people for a variety of reasons. Doing this has sometimes hurt other people's feelings. But what they wanted wasn't right for me. Saying no to them has made me feel better about myself and a stronger person. Don't let others pressure you into having sex. Do what you know is right. Obviously, avoiding sex is the safest way to avoid sexual transmission of the AIDS virus. And another thing, Bert, get rid of those dice. 